Hello everybody, Jean back with another Mars video. In this one I'll be showing you huge megaliths that are spotted at a site on the slopes of Charitum Montes. This is located in the southern mid-latitudes of Mars in a region called Argaia Planitia. The high-rise photograph we're analyzing is called Lobate Features in the Charitum Montes acquired on the 24th of May 2009 at a resolution of 26.9 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing you images are cropped from this JP2 black and white map projected file just over 730 megabytes in size. And for some context there's a crop from the low resolution black and white photograph showing what the terrain at this site looks like and the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of the white specks that you can see littered across this terrain. So for some context we've got Charita Montes running across there. The site is located on the one side at roughly 51 degrees 57 minutes south, 58 degrees 47 minutes West, and it's in this region called Argaia Planitia. There's an outline of the northern edge. I received a comment or two regarding the image upscaler I use and how accurate it is in upscaling. So I'm including conventional magnification here to the right versus gigapixel image upscaling to the left to show you the rough shape and outline in both versions of that object correspond the hole and the item inside correspond look at the size and shape of the boulders around it you'll see those correspond and the low lights and highlights of the objects also correspond the only difference is conventional magnification produces blurry out of focus upscales whereas gigapixel image upscaling produces clear crisp upscaled images preserving edges for those of you that might be new to my channel i'm including this i have featured conventional versus gigapixel upscaling comparisons in a couple of videos in the past and yeah, we're looking at a ultra close-up of this object. So check this out, folks. Very symmetrical. A neat hole right there in its center with a smaller object inside the opening. And what the heck could this be? We've seen similar megalithic blocks here on Earth with neat holes drilled through them. Could this be something similar? Then we're looking at the huge object highlighted there and I'd say that's about 8 meters across and again I'm comparing conventional magnification versus gigapixel upscaling to show you that gigapixel does a pretty good job at upscaling these images preserving edges making the objects clear and crisp so you can check the shape, geometry and outline of that object corresponds in both. These smaller objects around it are similar in size and shape. The low lights and highlights correspond as well. Just got a clean, crisp image to the left. And as typical from conventional magnifiers, a blurry one to the right. Going forward, all the upscaled images I'll be showing you 
I used the Gigapixel image upscaler to upscale them. So yeah, you can see Topaz Labs Gigapixel upscaler does a very good job at preserving the size and shape, highlights, low lights, and details. Right, so there's a close-up. Check this out. Neat right angles. Very smooth, flat surface. Then we've got two objects to the top and one here in the center at the bottom. I speculate we're looking at a rectangular item that's partially covered in sand to the bottom right. So that there would be roughly in the center of the one side. So we've got possibly a triangle depicted on this megalith or slab. Right, let's have a look at the megalith highlighted there. I'd say it's about 8 to 10 meters in length. Neat right angles, smooth flat surfaces, and uniformity in width and uniformity in thickness. Right, let's check that one out. This one I'd say is about 6 meters in length. Uniform width to it, right angles, and then there's three spots on it. I don't know if those are knobs or protrusions casting shadows, or could those possibly be holes in that megalith? Right, let's check out the one highlighted. Yeah, this one's quite long. Uh, I'd say that is about 10. To 12 meters in length, right angles, straight edges, and uniformity in its width. I don't know if that part there is possibly a protrusion or knob on this block. We see that type of arrangement at ancient sites in South America. Right, let's check out the block highlighted there. That is about 6 meters in length and it's got a protrusion right there in its center. Right, up next let's check out the cube highlighted there. It's about 4 by 4 meters in size. Right angles, straight edges, nice symmetrical cube right there on Mars. And there's another one, folks. This one's a little bigger. I'd say it's about 5 by 5 meters in size. And it's got a small object in the center. And there's another one similar. This one's about 4 meters across. And a closer look reveals it also has a small object or protrusion close to its center. And that continues in this crop. Check this out, folks. About 4 by 5 meters in size. And it's got a smaller protruding part or object right there in its center. And there's another one. This one's about 5 by 5 in size. And it's got a small hole on it by the looks of it. I'm not sure. Possibly... An object over there to the left is casting that shadow, but that looks more like a hole to me. Check out this item. Very, very unusual. It's about 6 by 8 meters in size, and it's got a pattern on it. But three long parts protruding off the one side. Almost like glyphs on a block. Right, check out the oval part there. It's about 6 meters across and about 8 meters long. It's got a strange shape. Very symmetrical, round on the one side, flat on the other, and then a smaller part 
protruding off the center. Check out this donut shaped part of here to the right. Right, there's another part very similar. Round on the one side, flat on the other, with a small protruding part in the center. And this also looks like some type of pattern depicted on this block or slab about, let's see, 10 meters across. So this thing is huge. Straight edges, right angles to it. We've got three parts in a row on the one side, parallel with that side there, and a small oblong part of here in the one corner. But that to me looks like some type of geometric symbol depicted there. This part on the top seems to be pointing down perpendicularly to that one side. Up next, a huge triangular block. I'd say that's about 12 by 12 by 12 meters in size, and it's about 4 to 5 meters thick. And it's got a small port right there in its center. The rectangular part highlighted here is about 10 meters in length, sort of dented on the one side. It's got a smaller protruding part in its center. But check out this chevron shaped part of here on the one corner. That's very unusual as well. And this corner of here seems to have a rounded part extending off the one side. And this is very weird. It's about four meters long. It looks almost like a fossilized crab with two pinches on the front. Probably natural I thought the shape was quite strange. It's got like pincers. That's what it looks like to me on the right hand side. And then this dome shell type of look to it. Right, check that part out over there. It's about five meters in length. It's got a very odd shape to it. Or triangular, smaller triangular part at the apex, and then this ridge line running through the center, intersecting the center of this one side. I don't know what to make of that. All right, we're heading down to that site on the slopes of Charitum Montes in this region called Argaia Planitia. So let's take a closer look. There's the site we're analyzing. Let's have a brief look at those anomalies again. Yeah, I've pinned those thumbnails to that site in Google Mars. Check out these blocks. A lot of similarities in this block. Can't see any protrusions on it. Perhaps it's on a side that we can't see. And this is from a video I did recently. at that same site. This is just a different view. It's 
So we've got multiple photographs of that site and in each one there's other detail shown. To me the highlight of all these anomalies is this block with the hole right there in its center and that middle part. Very odd. And with that said we've reached the end of this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's have a chat in the comments. Let me know what you think of these huge megalithic blocks that look very similar to those that we'd find here on Earth at ancient megalithic sites in South America, for example. Some of the blocks have got holes in them, others have got protruding parts on their sides as well. Could this be a structure or two that was blown up or destroyed in Mars's distant past? All the parts were scattered about and the megaliths fell randomly littering this area. I look forward to reading your comments. As always, thanks for watching.